All right, hi guys. Um, so I wasn't gonna actually, I don't know why I'm clicking. Okay, um, I wasn't actually gonna do a video today um, because I was, I was feeling a bit lazy. But uh, this has been something that's been playing on my mind for a little bit. So I thought, hell, why not? So this is a video about Killstar and Disturbia versus. So I have clothing items from both of the, the, the stores. I also have like the thing that's on the back of my wall there. That's from Killstar. Um, I've got like a little uh, dish from Killstar. I like to hold like my little rings and stuff in. Um, I was a bit disappointed that the dish was actually wood and it wasn't like an actual bowl thing. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a different uh, material, but anyway, it's fine. And I have actually got like a little trinket box. Those are great. Um, I have seen a lot of people comment on, you know, the quality of the clothes has gone downhill and i do actually have a crop top from when killstar was still a very small store so let's get started with that shall we okay right here we go so i have a few things from killstar i have i have got a lot of things from killstar um and i have got a good few things from disturbia as well so i will start off with something Oh God. Right, we'll start off with this. So this is a like, skull crop top. It zips up and down. And there are actually matching bottoms to go with this top, um, but I, I haven't purchased them. I was going to, but every time I tried to, they were sold out. Now, this material, I kind of knew what I was getting anyway. It's very thin, but I mean, does it say what it is on the label? Let me have a little look. Yeah, it's a uh, rayon, nylon, and elastine. It is quite stretchy. I'll take it off the hanger. Um, so it's quite stretchy on the side. But even on me, the only thing is with this top is it does stick to everything. So if you're a little bit conscious, um, you know, like I can be sometimes, I don't wear it all the time and it can get quite warm in the summer because of the type of material it is so even though it's thin it kind of conducts a little bit i also have this now i was a bit disappointed when i bought this i do i do love it so that's why i didn't send it back and um, when i purchased this it was in like the last chance area that you're gonna get this is still on killstar as you can see and um, they, they kind of have these fun tags um, and slogans on the back there as well. Um, I don't know why, but I expected it to be way thicker than what it was. It's quite a thin, it's, it's, it's retailed as a jumper, but it doesn't keep you warm because it's, you can see how thin it is. Um, and holy, which is obviously the style, uh, literally like Freddy Krueger, and we've got holes like all of here. Now the problem is, is I, I bought this because I really wanted it. Otherwise, I would not have purchased this uh, because I think I paid, I think it was like 40 something pounds for this, um, which is very highly priced for something like this. If it was actual, um, like a really nice cozy jumper, even though it had the holes in and everything, but if it was just thicker material, I would have no problems paying that much for this jumper, but it it's very thin and it's not as good quality as it should be for the money. Now I'm not dissing the kill sasso, I'm just saying straight facts here because I know so many people have mentioned that the quality has gone down and honestly, it, it probably has. This is a top I had back in, Gosh, 2013, I think it was. It doesn't even sound that long ago, but apparently it is. Um, so this was the Ouija board top. Um, I'm just going to cover this because it has got a swear word. Ignore my chip nails. I don't know whether I get demonetized for having a swear word like that. So I'm going to cover it. Um, so it's a Ouija board um, shirt. I love this crop top. I wear it all the time. And the material of this is a really nice soft cotton. And yeah, it's just normal t-shirt material, but it's a lot better quality than other items that I've had in regards to clothing from Kilsat. Like those two other items I've shown previously, 
even though they are all different materials, you can tell. You can, you can tell. This is another top I've got from Kelsa. I'm basically gonna end up showing everyone my like most of my wardrobe here. Nah, <laughs> I got a few. I got a few left. Um, this is an open shoulder Kelsa top. Ignore all the dog hair. I have a Dalmatian, and his hair just gets everywhere. Even when he's not in the room, even with all the cleaning, his hair just sticks, which is it's one of those things. Um, so it's like an open cold shoulder top, and I gotta give it to this one. It's quite thick, and it does feel nice. Um, I think, I, I think, good English, um, the zip here, you can obviously zip up, um, or zip down when you're wearing it, um, I do like this top, but I find it get very warm in it, so this is definitely one of those, uh, it's, it's got to be a winter top, or unless I'm very cold, um, I think the quality of this one in particular, I think it's good, um, it, it's quite similar to the quality of this t-shirt, um, in regards of how it feels and it's completely different to these now yes okay it is all different you know textures and feels everything like that but you know quality when you feel it on your skin and you know when you when you purchase it i do love kill Star. stuff like my little coffin trinket box i got and that on the wall you know they have sales on all the time which is probably when they make their most like money like most revenue but that's just like my personal preference and who doesn't love a bargain Right. Now I'll go into to Disturbia because even though Disturbia do have sales, they are quite pricey, but their clothing is worth it. Now um, I'm just gonna see if I can grab my uh, favorite choker. I think it's on the back of the wall there. Yeah, yeah. This is my Disturbia one. So this is my Disturbia choker that I got. Um, I think this is the Oracle Choker, as in A-U-R-I-C-L-E. Um, this is still on the store. Now, I did buy this fully priced. This was £25. Now, I do understand that some people would be like, I wouldn't pay that for, for a choker, but this is proper chain, durable. It's got a weight to it, so be aware if you're going to get anything like that. Um, I love wearing it, and it does look really nice on as well. Um I adore this. I like this better than a Killstar Chopper I've got, which I have misplaced at the minute, but it's like a, a, a velvet choker with like a moon and little chains coming down, but it's a bit cheap compared to something with this quality. And I mean, yeah, it's it's solid. Like, it's just, I, lo I love this one so much. So put that there. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the Disturbia clothing um, in regards of like, uh, tees and quality now this ooh, this is one of my favorite tops and um, this has got a fishnet sleeve um it's just like a gray um cotton t-shirt i really like this it's a favorite um and the sizing as well i i like the sizing with both killstar and serbia but i do find with killstar sometimes i mean i haven't had trousers from killstar but in regards of tops I have to downsize a little bit because a 12 in certain types of tops and kill cell will be too big for me when usually I do fit a 12. This is a 12 um, and it's comfortable, it's not really tight and it just hangs off um, really nice as well, which is great. Now, the quality of this is on par with the quality of the like 2013 Killstar crop top I used to have. So the quality between both of these is very similar. Meaning good. I, I, I love this top. Okay. Um, then I have, I do, I do believe this is Kills, the, not Killstar, Serbia. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just gonna double check the label. Gonna double check, double check, double if I can find it. I can't find it. Oh no, there's a hole! I didn't know that hole was there. <laughs> um, well, I can't find it. Um, I'm pretty certain it's from Sturbia. Um, I love the Friday the 13th franchise, so I bought this when they did the horror release of t-shirts. They had like Beetlejuice, they had Silence of the Lambs. Um, they might have had Devil's Rejects. These tops went really quick. Unfortunately, at the time I could only buy one. So I went with a good old classic. Um, 
I love the quality of the shirt. This quality of the shirt is really nice. Even though it's an oversized t-shirt and you know most people just, you know, whack a print on and sell it, this was worth it. And I bought this recently. This is a full fishnet top, but this time instead it comes with hand holes. Now I did buy this because I had my eyes on this for a while and then shortly after this sold out they've just released a bodysuit version of it. So the bodysuit version obviously is a little bit more slim fit, everything like that. This can obviously go underneath your clothes or if you are going like on a night out or something or do whatever you do you can wear like a, a like a I, I would wear like a thick like a thick bra so like not just like a normal bra but like a thicker bra similar to a halter neck underneath or something like that and pull this over the top quite similar to like festival clothing um but you don't have to do that you can just layer it which is also another great thing considering this is a, literally like a fishnet top it's quite thick the the material itself is quite thick and I got this in the sale as well um I think I think this was cheap I think I got this for is it 16 something it wasn't 20 it was lower way lower than that and i'm so happy with that now go on to waist measurements now i thought i had my waist measurements right now i i couldn't bear to send these back um i love them too much these were the beetle beetle jeans these sell out every time they go online and the waist on this is about is it's a good four inches but well, I say a good four inches bigger because I can I can stand up and I can like hold it away from the waist but it's nothing a, a good belt can fix which I've also got a belt from distributor as well I absolutely adore these and because they're so big they're, they're comfortable and I do believe they're unisex because I'll tell you for why which isn't a problem the pockets the pockets it's very important to have pockets the pockets are so big and so deep and oh, if anyone knows anything, women's clothing, we do not get deep pockets. I mean, what have I got here? I've got some jeans on from Misguided and I can literally just about fit my hand in there. But with like these, especially the back pockets, they're just massive. They're a lot deeper than what like women's jeans pockets would be. I don't care. If I like the look of certain bits of clothing, I'll wear it. I'm not particularly bothered. Um, so yeah, that, that's why I bought these bad boys. But I absolutely adore these. Now I have got a skirt from Kilsa, so bear with me whilst I go and grab that. Okay, I forgot. I had, even though I knew I had a skirt, a, a, skirt, a skirt from Kilsa, I also have one from Disturbia. I'm gonna tell you which was my favorite. It's the Disturbia one, straight off. Um, so this is the curl style one. Is is this worth the money that I paid for it? Not really. I don't like the feel of it. This material is like that other top I had earlier. It's like a elastine um, polyester. I don't know why I expected it to be more of like a cotton one, quite similar to the band mini skirts that you can get. I do like it. I don't wear it that often because just how it looks on you like I gotta have a a day where I'm not eating my, <laughs> massive amounts of food when I want to wear this um it, it is a nice skirt but I haven't worn it much since I've had it I think I've worn it maybe two or three times I do like it so that's that one and um, the chain that comes with it you can like it feels okay but the 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 rings that they're on, I mean, I could give this one big tug and it would come off. But like I said, I love both Killstar and, and Disturbia. And um, this isn't meant to be a bashing video or anything like that. It's just comparing and showing you guys what the difference is, you know, the prices, the sizing, everything like that. The sizing on that skirt is a medium. Um, like I said, I'm about a 12. 10 to 12 I always fit better in a 12 um just because I can be a little bit hippy and trying to pull things up over my thighs sometimes is a bit of a pain now this skirt I've worn I haven't even took the label off but I, I've worn it for photos and everything because I adore it it's a little bit big because the button on the inside kind of unhooks itself 
But um, basically, let me show you what I mean. So you put it on like, I'll show you at the top of my clothes. I don't know, I, I'm hoping that it's not far away. So you put it on like this, you clip yourself on that button and then you clip this side like that. Um, and it's kind of like a, it's, it's a, it is a wraparound skirt. That's what it's retailed as. And it is really comfy because you don't have to worry about pulling it up or tugging it up or anything like that. But um, I like this. The material on this is nice and thick. This is definitely a type of winter skirt. Um, but I really love the feel of this. It's so soft and it's lined. The other skirt, the Kill Star one, is literally just thin material. It's not lined. This is lined and having a lining on a skirt, oh, it is heavenly. It is so nice. So I am very happy that I bought that skirt. So that's basically some comparisons to like Kill Star clothing um, and uh, blah, 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 blah disturbia clothing um like i said there's been a lot of controversy over the past couple of years by some people won't buy from killstar because they're they're concerned that the quality has gone down i, mean, I still like killstar clothing i've used a lot of killstar stuff to decorate my room i've got the giant floor cushion like i said i've got that catch it all dish um, I have got the cauldron incense burner and the little coffin trinket box. So I have you. Oh, I'm not there. <laughs> um, so I have used a lot of stuff from Killstar to do my room with. That's what I wanted because they have better accessory stuff as well like that than Disturbia do. But in regards to Disturbia, even though it's more pricey, I would say. Well, I don't know. I no, yeah. I say I say they're both. Um, around the same sort of price range but i think for disturbia i think you'd probably be a bit more pleased with the quality that you get but that is only my personal opinion don't don't take it to you know how look if they see this <laughs> i'm just giving an honest opinion um i still love both brands but yeah so that that's my whole thought on this and that's why i thought i'd do a comparison video so yeah that's that. Um, if you like this video, um, please stay, like, subscribe, everything like that. Um, and my next little clip onto this video will just be a quick fit check and then I will let you go. And we're back. Um, I, I have kept my hair up the entire time throughout this video because I get too warm having my hair down and there's so much of it I never know what to do. So this is my outfit today. This came yesterday. I had it on a pre-order. It's a drop dead shirt. Um, Helvetti, I think it's called. I think that means Swedish. Like in Swedish, I think it means hell. I don't know. I've seen people comment that. I don't know if there's any truth behind it. Um, yeah, so this is the Helvet top. Um, I absolutely adore it. It is baggy, yes. It is a medium. Um, I wasn't sure. I didn't on sizing, but I'm so glad it's baggy and comfy. I think if I was to get a large, it would be too big, but I really like baggy. So this is nice. Um, then I've got this just little chain I got. I think I got this from a alternative uh, a shop that was local um where i am but unfortunately now with everything it's been closed down which sucks um and then i got my misguided jeans on again oh cue the hairy legs and then i've got my favorite my all-time favorite scooby-doo shoes look at these bad boys i absolutely absolutely adore those um i actually haven't got any rings or anything on today or necklaces but yeah, and I just did this thing with my makeup. Um, that was actually like a bit of an accident. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a proper try. And I did. And do you know what? I don't think I did bad at all. Okay, so <laughs> that was the video for today. And um, thank you very much. And hopefully see you soon.